Welcome to Channel 18 News, I'm Jim Rogers. Across the United States and its territories this Memorial Day, the centennial anniversary of America's entry into World War I was commemorated according to a proclamation issued by the President of the United States. He called for the day to be a day of prayer for permanent peace. In commemoration, the Hopkins County Marine Corps League lowered the flags to half staff until noon on Monday those flags at the Veterans Memorial on Celebration Plaza in Silver Springs. The 16th annual ice cream freeze-off has changed the time and location, according to Leslie Brown, Chamber of Commerce Executive Director. The ice cream freeze-off will continue to be on Saturday, June 10th, but the time has changed to 5.30 p.m. and the location has moved to Shannon Oaks Church Front Lawn. This will give an opportunity for the public to enjoy all-you-can-eat ice cream for $3, at least while it lasts, and then watch the hot air balloons take flight at 6 p.m. She said the various ice cream categories will remain for people to make and enter their homemade ice cream. There is no entry fee. Registration for Sulphur Springs Independent School District Kindergarten has a process that is different for the new school year. Sulphur Springs ISD parents are reminded that the 2017 Kindergarten Roundup is Tuesday through Friday, May 30th through June 2nd. The district now uses online registration using Skyward Family Access. Registration can be completed at home or in the Early Childhood Learning Center Parent Center from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. if you need access to a computer. If parents are planning to register a kindergarten student for school, please do so during this week so that the child will be included in the current count. Only a parent or legal guardian may register a child. Online registration must be filled out completely and then a list of the documentation needed to complete the registration process and those items that you must present may be delivered to the Early Childhood Learning Center front office through Thursday, June 15th. Stop for a traffic violation on Farm to Market Road 1870 at County Road 2309. Damien DeMarcus Williams, age 23 of Fort Worth, was arrested for possession of a plastic bag containing marijuana residue, plastic bags of marijuana and plastic bag of expect, suspected cocaine. No driver's license and, no, and drug paraphernalia in his possession. A strong odor of marijuana greeted the Hopkins County deputy who made the stop. During a pat down for weapons, c consent was granted for the officer to search Williams' pockets. When the search was made, a baggie containing marijuana residue was found. On the drive to jail, Williams told the deputy he had narcotics on his person. At the jail, the jailer removed two baggies of marijuana and a baggie of suspected cocaine. Williams remains in Hopkins County Jail. Saturday morning at Celebration Plaza, the 911 Connection celebrated the day, and boys and girls of all ages enjoyed the day. Doug Haston was there. That is an event for the emergency responders to come hang out with the community folk. Feed us. Play games. You can get your little, um, you can get your little child ID, and have your kids come out and tour the emergency vehicles. We have the helicopter over there at the bank. Pretty cool. This is a uh, 911 connection, and it's all the public safety and whatever else we can think of that you can get a hold of by calling 911. And uh, we're just out here kind of hanging out with people and uh, why, why do you do, elbows. Why do you do this? Just to let folks know we're out here for them, you know, just so they can come rub elbows with us. What is it uh, Anola Gay told me? We're normal people too. <laughs> you know, it's just a time for our community to come out and connect with us and uh, connect with us rub elbows. The kids can play on all the fire trucks and police cars. They go, we got barbecue, hot dogs, bounce house. Just a time for folks to come out and, and hang out with us. That's all I need. That's pretty simple. <laughs> Don't forget, early voting for Silver Springs City Council Place 6 continues at the Municipal Building 201 North Davis Street between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. until May 30th. 
On the ballot are Dan Fronterberger and Brad Bergen. June 3rd is runoff election day. Hours for voting, June 3rd, 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Thanks for watching News Notebook. We, we remember this day those who gave their lives courage and bravery to defend this nation and to bring freedom in our land and in other nations as well. Thank you for your service. And remember, life is well worth the living. This is Channel 18 News. Have a great evening. The herbs are one dollar a bag, two dollars a bag, and the lemonade and cold coffee is one dollar a cup. What kind of herbs you got? We got rosemary, sage, mint, thyme, fennel, parsley, oregano, and basil. Where did you get this? We grew it. You grew it where? Um, at our house and at a farm. Okay. Do you know what you're supposed to do with it? What do you do with sage? Um, it's okay it, to say I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I think you put it in uh, other things to make it taste better. With it's tasty. Do you recognize them without the label? What is that? This is basil, fennel, um, sage, and the rest I can't recognize without a label. I can, rec I can recognize them. mostly only the ones I'm used to knowing, like um, basil, um, fennel, and sage, because those are easy to know what they are. Are these actual newspapers? They are. Uh -huh. tell, me, tell me who you are. My name is Nancy Ferguson. And where did you get all this? I bought these newspapers in an antique store. They were stacked in a rope bottom chair in the antique store, just a stack of them. And I bought every one of them and I sold a few, but not here. I haven't sold any here, but well, I did sell one. But uh, they're original, they're, I have from January, I believe this one is January the 30th, I have from January through September, some of each month, and it just really tells the story about the war in 1945. You can take the frames off and read them, take them out and read them. They're, if you notice their volume, and they, I don't know what number this is, but they have a volume number, and, it, and these are original Stars and Stripes newspapers. And that's the entire newspaper in there, it that's is. not just the front page. No, it's the entire newspaper. And I, these little frames are very handy because you can take them out and read them. a find on that one, didn't you? Uh-huh, I did. I did. And I'm not sure, I've never sold any like this. I'm not sure that, you know, this is... You from place. Hopkins County? Excuse me? Are you from Hopkins I County? Am. I was born right here in Sulphur Springs. And this first time you've ever set up? It is. Think maybe you'll do it again? I think I will. Um, it's awful windy today, but... I know this only lasts till noon, and I think I will probably pull it up at noon because it may be, I may come back this evening and set up over there. They, they have the market in the evening. Uh -huh. Just depends on the weather today. <laughs>
<laughs> Never know.